Well, good evening and welcome to the Home Call Carpets Community Stadium. Burgess Hill Town host Seven Hoaks here under the lights at Leylands Park. Hillians, why are we thinking to go long from this throw? And they do, in it goes. Flicked on by Hillian. Dan Perry lurks. Where's it going to fall? It's going to be smashed away by a Seven Oaks man, but it's traditionally Nick Darienzo. And now the hill will look to build something going. Mo Jammer, lovely little turn, but he can't get under control. And here goes Shimoton for the Seven Oaks. Past Kieran Rowe. Past Mo Jammer. He's dangerous if he gets going from Nia Shimoton. Plays it inside and it's swept out here to the left hand side. In it goes by the Oaks. It's not dealt with, it's deflected. And the last touch did come off an Oaks man. And it'll be a, a goal kick. Here on Pamant to swing this in. The Hillians profited a lot from corners last Tuesday night. Can they repeat the favour? In it goes from Pamant in swinging. Oh, it's met by a head. I think it was Jack Taylor. Amadou Tangara came out, got nowhere near it. He's got time to turn, which he probably shouldn't have. And they spray this out wide, the Oaks. It's well kept in. He's going to drive his man on this left-hand side. A few step overs past Reggie Ward. The ball across, deflects. I think it took a deflection anyway. No, it doesn't look like it did, unless it did come off a Seven Oaks man, right across the face of goal. Seven Oaks putting the pressure on it. Allen back to James Shaw. It's got to be quick. It's charged down. Where's that going? He's going for a goal kick, and that's why Harry Hudson wants his team to, to sort of be hard on the press, really. Looks inside. Lovely little run made off the ball by Kieran Rowe. Here is Rowe. Looks Robbo Tall can turn. He's looking back towards Kieran Rowe. Kieran Rowe's in behind here. Pulls it across. He's going to go Pamon. Good save. I think my Tangara back to Pamon. Massive appeals for handball. Immediately turned away by the referee. That's a loose touch, and Kieran Rowe could nip in and does nip in. Dan Perry, Perry touch, short, good low save by Tangara on the rebound, and we smashed clear. And that really came out of nothing from a Hillian's point of view. Kieran Rowe did really well to nip the ball, win it. Complete confusion here. Dan Carr gets the ball. Dan Carr shoots. Dan Carr dribbles wide. Everybody stopped. Uh, wins the header. It's going to fall to Mo Jammer on his left-hand side. Comes inside now, Mo Jammer. Looks for Hillian. Dan Perry looks. Dan Perry gets it. Dan Perry in the box. Back out to Mo Jammer. Whips it in first time. Pamets at the far post. Got up, but his header goes off target. It was just slightly missed time. This jump there, Kieran Pamet. That was half a chance for Hill. Martin Box will take this corner. In it comes. Left foot in swinging. Deep this time. Josh Spinks gets up. Who's it going to fall to? It's going to fall in! It's in! It looks like it's down, Perry, on the end of it. And what did I just tell you about Seven Oaks giving away cheap corners and cheap throw-ins? And what has it done? It's presented the hill with the opening goal of the game. And it looks like it's Hitman Dan with his 51st Burgess Hill goal. It's Burgess Hill 1, Seven Oaks 0. It's going to be Kieran Pammon. It's one of those awkward positions. It's not wide enough to cross and it's too central to shoot. Never mind, he is going to shoot and... Dean Cox has literally got his head in his hands. It's going to be Jaden Drake, Thomas to whip it in. Left footed, he's going to the near post. James Shaw as well. Does he keep it in? Yes, he does. And you can see why Drake Thomas decided to do that, try and catch James Shaw out at his near post with a sort of wet and greasy surface, but James Shaw did really well and managed to keep it in and stop it going for a, a corner kick. Here's Carmel and Eve into the last six minutes. That's a loose ball. Kieran Rowe getting up and up the hill. Rowe finds Robbo Tall. Oh, it's off the line. I told you, Rian Bray heads everything. He even heads goal line clearances away. That could be a real important block there with five minutes to go. That would have sealed the game. You want it to fall to Robbo Tall, it did, but Rian Bray's been excellent tonight. And that'll be full time. And it's a massive win for Burgess Hill. Seven Oaks had the chance to go second. But a Dan Perry winner in the 53rd minute, and it finishes Burgess Hill 1, 7 Oaks 0.